Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin. And in our show, we talk about nothing. Well, some things, but... It's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good time, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming. It's yeah. the, quite possibly the shortest you've ever heard. Yes. So, speaking of that, though, if you want to hear us talk about nothing more often, you know... Hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, if you have any ideas, if you have any sort of stories, anything like that, you know, feel free to shoot us an email at cktalkaboutnothing at gmail.com. You can tweet us at CoreyKevin1, you know. What are we hashtagging on there, Kev? Oh, I, I believe that's a hashtag embrace the nothing. Embrace the nothing. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Get at us with that. Yes, yes. Let us hear about I'll, it. I'll check it and I'll be like, whoa, there's like over 400 tweets with that and all 400 are mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, but they're there. They're there, right, right. That's the important part. That's the important part. So, so use it. Yes, yeah, sir, yes. Em- hashtag embrace the nothing. It's kind of so. like the bat symbol. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if, you, yeah. if you use it, we're like, they're in distress. You need our podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> so, all right. So today, today. I want to bring up, th- there's something big that happened. I think a lot of our friends have enjoyed over the, the weekend time. Uh, so, how's Tony Hawk? Oh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, so, now that I'm remembering this game, I, because no. we, we were not PlayStation people at, at our house. And we played PlayStation at our friends' houses, but unfortunately... We kind of, as a family, stopped buying systems together around the N64 days. So, I had the Nintendo 64. So, I actually played Tony Hawk Pro Skater on the Nintendo 64. Oh, wow. That's weird. You're like the first person I've ever heard say that. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like the first person who's ever, like, admitted that. Like, oh, you remember Tony Hawk Pro Skater on PlayStation 1? Like, yep. That, yep, I was sure there. Did. I was in line, man. I was waiting yeah. <laughs> for years for it. I knew about I'm it for gonna... years. No, I was the Nintendo 64 and had that goofy looking, uh, you know, th- uh, a grappling hook controller. And, yes. And, uh, I mean, don't worry. I played a lot of N64. I'm not saying that by any means. Right. I'm also not going to lie to you that I didn't realize Tony Hawk was ever made for the N64. <laughs> yeah, so. for sure. You Nintendo's know, I mean, like, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you guys forgot about that in your own stock. That's true. Absolutely, yeah. No, I, I played that one. That was actually one of the few games um, that I actually finished, and I I was like a pro at that game. So when, when these new games were coming out, I was like, I was a little confused because I remember playing the ones on PlayStation 2 a lot. But that was, what, mm-hmm. 3 and 4 then? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I remember playing those on PlayStation. So when, so when uh, we first booted it up, Jessica and I actually just started playing today. Yes, today. And I started realizing, I was like, oh, this is Nintendo 64 uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. This is awesome. I remember everything, like all the maps and everything. Yes. I mean, getting used to the controls is is a little different. Um, But I'll tell you what, it is so much fun. Jessica and I okay. are just uh, passing the controller back and forth. You know, I'll I'll do a run, she'll do a run, and each time we just try to nail something else off the list and everything. Man, it it is a blast. That's awesome. That's sweet. I mean, I, so are you, are you are you pretty good at it then too? Uh, you know, not bad. I don't know. What, I mean, people have been probably playing it. Relentless. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not, so saying, I'm like, not saying to the to the world by any means. Yeah, do you to, feel like to the you, world? <laughs> yeah. yeah, are you actually accomplishing things? And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I okay. I once, I think it was like a seventy six thousand score. Uh, nice. Yeah, and then I, once I mastered like the the nine hundred. Uh, from Tony Hawk, I, it was it was like okay, I, let me bl- let me blow the high score out of the here real quick, you know. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was just like getting getting used to the game again. But it's it's been absolutely fun, man. Absolutely fun. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause I really have been like contemplating and on purchasing myself. I just don't know if it's. I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to spend the time to play that game, and I'm gonna enjoy it as much as I enjoy my other games I play right now. That <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard, you know. Well, I mean, to be honest, I I think like like Jessica and I were like screw fall guys we were just praising it last po- last episode yeah. but yeah. In this episode we're like screw fall guys we were playing that while tony hawk was downloading once we started playing tony hawk we're like we're so we're doing this now right like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's what we're doing so i that's i funny. personally i mean and if you think about it it's two games right yeah. so you're getting yeah. one and two so you've got a ton of content um i didn't do the digital deluxe i just went with the 39.99 one Okay, all right. So, and, then and if I if I buy one, I, I would do, I would do the same thing. But see, the thing that's frustrating is I almost feel like I should, you know, like I do that, and then, um, I'll, then you know, I, let's just say a month from now, I play it a couple times throughout these next time, and then next time I go to I, you know I go to play it, and now it's on sale for twenty bucks. You know, yeah, that's the thing that kind of bothers me. So it's like, okay, so well, right now I'm really involved in my two games I'm playing in, so wait it out a. a See how long I can wait. Yeah, I can buy it right now if I wanted to, or you know what I mean, wait it out just a tad bit and then get into it. I would, so I, I, I would know. say, it's probably it would probably go like on a, some sort of sale around uh, Black Friday or yeah. you know around that time. Uh, but the PlayStation Five is also coming out, so uh, I'm hoping that I can like maybe keep that in my library and still play it. Yeah, so somebody told me that they're, they're going to like let you upgrade games to where you just upgrade to the PS5 platform. Yeah, and if, if that's the case, then I'm I'm very happy to have paid the forty. I, I could care less just because like yeah, just because yeah. like I don't know how much they could lower it because it is like two games in two one, full you games. Know? So, so I'm paying yeah, so yeah. I'm paying twenty dollars per game. So you know what I mean? if you think about it that way, yeah, you know what I mean. If, if I buy that, if I buy because I don't need the skins and the you know I don't yeah, think so. I, I, I don't I, care I, you know what about I mean? any of that no. stuff. I just care about. The achievements and absolutely yeah. give me give me my think board and my Tony Hawk to you know or uh, my favorite my one of my favorite characters was uh, Bob Burnquist. Oh yeah, game. now oh yeah, he used to wear the glasses, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to wear, okay. he, he wore glasses. Yeah, he's not in this. He's one. not wearing glasses in this one. I don't okay. think. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, uh, well, there's probably different outfits though too. You, you know. So, oh so yeah, that's a good a point. It's outfit. like yeah, yeah, like a default outfit. Yeah, that's a good point. No. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'll say it's, it's been absolutely fun, and and okay. like, it's just quick too. So, like, you, you're worried, you know, would you play it enough? And it's like, man, we've played it just this afternoon, and we've already unlocked like four maps and everything. So, I, yeah, I mean, okay. per- personally, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm saying it's a win. <laughs> okay, All right. It is so much fun, and then like, do the maps. It's crazy when they show you side by side, like how upgraded they are. But man, when you see the maps, you're like, that's like kind of how I always I me- saw it. Remember, you know, I for it's, 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 yeah. When you when when you play those PlayStation Two games, the graphics they had on then were were phenomenal. Yeah, but this you, this you, isn't they, PlayStation they, Two. This is PlayStation One. Oh well, oh yeah, but I'm just saying, like, whenever you're playing whatever game you're playing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you the know what I mean? Like system. how you remember it is exactly the same Whoa. thing because you're just <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you get the same factor the entire time. You know, because you know, Call of Duty, same exact way. All of a sudden, you get you know called like, oh, Call of Duty. The graphics are so good. Yes, but I remember then when I played Modern Warfare, the first one, that it was as good as this one. You know, but and when you go back and match them up. Not so much. I'll tell you, nothing was funnier than when our friend was trying to get us to play Battlefield 3. We we logged into that, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not well, doing it. I purchased it. it. Yeah. I purchased it. So did I. It was like, what, that $10 a DLC? Yeah. I did too. Yeah. And then we played it, yeah. and I'm like, well, that was $10 no. wasted. Yep, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I, I'll admit, I played it at one time at his house, and for some reason, it, it wasn't terrible. Yeah. And then I, I bought it and then got it. played it here. It was not good. I'm like, what happened? Like, <laughs> you know, let's go I, I back to know. Battlefield One or Five. Like, I don't, I don't it, care. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, uh, that's actually one game noted on my list too. That I, I went past on my system the other day, and I'm like, man, this has not been fired up for a long <laughs> time. Very long time. Yeah, it's crazy. 
I was going to show Jessica Rocket League today, but unfortunately I have not played it in a long time, so it was downloading. I'm like, eh. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. You see, Rocket League is super fun. It's, it's hard to control the cars, man. I mean, don't be wrong. I've got, I got really good when I played I played my cousin's house a lot. Yeah. I've gotten, like, I was really good at it then. Not really good, but like good enough to control the car. and you know, I'm not professional by any means, but... It was fun, man. It was fun. Yeah, that I've, I've watched a couple of those like tournaments. I mean, like that game. I don't know if it still does, but it used to sell up like stadiums worth of yes. people just to watch them play this game. It's, it's a insane. fun game. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's like you know you play a few matches and and I'm like, all right, I'm just a di- you know different mm. gamer though. Like I don't. Ha- yes. The only game that I like I I am soulfully committed to is World of Warcraft, and then occasionally there's like. The Battlefield games. They though I'd say Battlefield Five is the first Battlefield that we actually played like like pretty much through and through. Like Battlefield Five, we what we played the crap out of that game. Oh, absolutely. I mean and pretty much not every challenge by any means, but pretty much like all the weekly challenges. Oh yeah, or, we'd you know, we'd I knock mean, that out in a night oh, and just yep. level up guns. I mean yep. there were so many weeks where uh, I'm like just having fun because all of my guns were topped out all of my uh-huh. you know weapons were all good to go L- unlocked level tens it just got uh that one just got a little like you, you kept t- like almost making it feel like we were gonna get more content than we were gonna uh, absolutely definitely. and then they're like nah oh yep not to mention the bugs i mean that's terrible. Yeah. It, I mean, how many times? How many times did you fall through the floor? How many times did I fall through the floor? You revive somebody instead of them getting up, they just go floating through the floor. You know, it's kind of a weird situation. Wasn't so. there like days where like we couldn't even connect to multiplayer, or just oh, kick yeah. you out of the squad randomly? I mean, there there were so many bugs, but ultimately that was that was probably my favorite uh, battle. I mean, yeah, it definitely was my favorite battlefield. Um, uh huh. I feel like we we definitely did a lot of achievements on there. No, oh, yeah, definitely. Speaking That's of achievements, you know, if there's any achievement hunters listening out there, and anybody cares about some World of Warcraft, so I woke up pretty early on the day that uh, we're recording this, obviously. But I woke up really early this morning, about like four thirty in the morning, and I'm like, "Hey, it's a new day. That means I can do new things in World of Warcraft." So I went downstairs. <laughs> And I ran two time walking dungeons, got my reputation up uh, for Thunder Bluff. Boom, hit my ambassador, which I know I've been, it's taken a really long time. I don't know why, but I got my ambassador <laughs> title. And then I got, uh, I, f- I finally got my 150 mounts. So now I got the, the Pandaren kite, which I'm really excited about. So I got two achievements, and then I'm like, I'm done logging off. I went back to yeah. bed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Did you set an alarm or did you just get up for it? You know, I, I just get up. Like, I'll wake up and I'm like, yeah, it's a good time to go play some World of Warcraft. That is so funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, if, if, I, if I don't have to work that day and I wake up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'll go down, play till 4, 5, maybe 6, climb back into bed and another hour or two to sleep you know it's impressive sometimes like i'm climbing to bed and i'll hear clementine waking up and i'm like no 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 yeah not <laughs> give, yet. give me a half an hour come on <laughs> yeah yeah please yes that's so that's funny yeah oh man but yes to answer your question tony hawk pro skater it's rocking good time man all right all right i like it okay I was, cool. I was gonna bring that one up to you because it was just. I figured, you know, my my I got you know my my jealousy you know comes out. I see Ke- I see uh, you know Kevin getting online, but he's playing another <laughs> game instead of ever playing any of the games that w- you know. I I know man. At the same time. I I knew I should not have bought Call of Duty. I knew I shouldn't have, but I was like, man, that's what they're playing. They're not playing Battlefield anymore. Should have just kept playing WoW. Well. But what yeah. are you gonna do? I, I agree. I agree. Because I mean, even our other friend that we played with all the time, he he doesn't play anymore either. You know. Well, exactly. No, like, it's like, it's like everybody stopped playing. So I'm like, well, you know what? This is a perfect time. And then I got hooked on to WoW again. So yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. 
I mean, no, I'm not, and I'm not hating. I'm just saying, you know, I just like to play games with my friends, and then none of my friends are playing video games, and then they hop on and play a game that we can't play together because I don't have it. Get, get, you know, get caught up. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay uh, caught up, man. I don't know what else. Have you, have you played? With, have you played with anybody yet? Oh, online? No, not not the multiplayer. Okay. We're just doing like the skate parks and everything. That yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I'll say, it's funny. You get on my list of my friends, and I had like it was like fourteen or fifteen people on. More than half of them were playing Tony Hawk. Oh, dude, so it fun. is yeah. such a it's fun like, game, man. Yeah, it is. And then yeah, it's so good. the so. time runs out, but you're still grinding, so you're in overtime. So you're just like, I'm still getting points. I'm still getting <laughs> points. <You know? laughs> That's it's awesome. so much fun, and then and then. You know, just just seeing like the excitement with Jessica, like she she knocks like one of the challenges out. You know, her competitive side is is, is can be terrifying. You know. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've never truly seen. I've never truly seen this. Well, yes, I have. What am I talking about? Uh, well, I mean, we play a lot of card games. Yeah, we. And yeah, a lot exactly. of things together. Yeah. I mean, uh, so. Yeah. These these video games, Fall Guys and Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It's like awaken the gamer in Jessica again. That's funny. She, she was it's a funny. sleeping dragon gamer, and now <laughs> she's like, oh, "I'm back." Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's so fun. Uh, we're we're gonna have to uh, like, well, whenever this whole COVID thing changes and happens, and I guess by then Fall Guys will just be out of the photo. But I think Fall Guys would be a fun party game for some reason. I, don't I know think why. so I just, too. Just handing the controller no. off to somebody else. They're yeah. quick. They, you know, definitely. You can get eliminated pretty quickly, you know. Oh, so. perhaps, yeah, definitely. I mean, sometimes you know, my my cousin stopped over and uh, we played it. We played a one one night a couple of times back and forth, and you know, they're they're the first time in a, a couple of times in a row we both lost. I think it was twice in a row for both of us. First game, <laughs> yeah. you know, we got closer and closer, you know, and then all of a sudden, and then finally we started making some good runs and push it to the very end, but. You know, but but it was it was real rough to start. You know, I mean, you <laughs> oh, know, learning the controls still. I shamelessly punched the controller today because the X when I was jumping gave it like the slightest delay and it happened twice you hit it and it just didn't jump right away and it threw off the whole thing and I'm just wow. like why are you doing this <laughs> got eliminated and everything but I had told you that I never got to that that splash one where you're where you're going down and you have to jump over the moving yeah. doors. Yep. I finally beat it today. I nice. finally nice. beat it today. Did you do my trick where you kind of go in the middle between the two, like one side of it, and then just whatever one's gonna go? Yeah, down I, right I just, just waited to slide down when one is, you know, like yeah, it, one's just, dropping. Yeah, that, that's it. So yep. whatever side's dropping, yep. that's the side you gotta jump to. Go but, for it, and yep. you gotta yep. make sure you hit that jump, or else you just don't make it. Oh, no, no. So actually, I hit jump and then dive too, oh, just that's to make sure one, yeah. I'm totally clear in that. You know what I mean? Just trying to get everything out of there. But yeah, it's quicker they say too. I think or something. I, I think that's a good party game too. It's it's just fun, mindless. You're you wind up like just cheering because you want to see. Like, let's keep going. You know, I want to see. Yeah, like, yeah. Somebody, I want to see somebody get the crown. I almost like when I got into one of the finals, I almost got the crown this guy jumped literally like a second before i would jump and he hit the crown and i was like no wow that was my moment <laughs> dude that sucks that's close yeah that's, see, i've never i've never gotten that close to it oh, yet. i've man. gotten did you go up the one where it has the two sides and it goes up and you jump into the into jump into the thing? It's like you can go up both sides of it and then you can jump up and the crowns up there in the air. You can jump up to. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, this one was I don't I don't remember. I think it was the the fruit. The fruit was coming and then you had to walk on the, walk on the sides and jump to get the crown. Okay, okay, so that, so that's a different one. Yeah. yeah. So I've, I've seen I've seen that one, but the the one that you had to jump, you know, I've made it up to like you go up these two hills and it's flat, and then you turn left and it's right to the jump. I've gotten to that flat part, and then the person on the other side is already up there, right? So I'm like right there, but not close enough, you know. So it's making me angry. I'll get one. Oh yeah, well eventually, I mean yeah. that's and that's the fuel that fight. You know, eventually we will put Fall Guys back on there because we're gonna be like, you know what. Oh well, yeah, it's Tony Hawk's just new. Tony, yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah, it's like they're both new, but there's so much more content in Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah. doing the 900, I'm not, bro. 
Dude. I'm not going to say it. You just bringing up that one trick makes me really want to play. I love I love skating. Oh, dude, okay. I know. I would so, go to the man. library and get all these skating magazines and watch all yeah. that. I could not skate at all, though. I just okay, admired see, I, it from afar. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So you see, I tried. I tried. I was never like great by any means, yeah. but I can do kick flips and land a couple of 360 flips or tri flips, whatever they're called. Tri now, flips. You know? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I've, don't get me wrong. I've landed some things. I rode around the ball a couple times, you know, back and forth, doing some 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 small tricks up there. But as soon as I, you know, fall down and bust my knee one too many times, oh, yeah. and then my then I see a dirt bike that I can buy instead, things changed. But, <laughs> yeah, you know right. what I mean? It was a good time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I specifically remember my, my buddy had a skateboard, and, and, and I'm, we're going down the road, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. And I must have hit the smallest pebble. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it just took me out. And I hit so, I hit my ass so hard. Oh, I'm yeah. like, you know. It's rough. It's not for it's not, everybody. It's not no, it's not. It's, it is not fun. With I don't have great balance. Like, I'm not a very coordinated person. I'm clumsy. Mm-hmm. So, it's just like, no, I just don't think I'm good for that. So, I don't think I'd even have. I, I'm too cautious. Like, I wouldn't be able to, hey, <laughs> go skate that rail down those steps. Nope. Nah. Nah. Yeah, for sure. That actually sounds yeah. like death, and I try to avoid yeah. that. <laughs> 100%. But, but Tony Hawk Pro so. Skater, ah, I'll, yeah, no, that's different. let's go for it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I know. Yeah, I know all the tricks because of that game. So, oh man, that's yeah. so much fun. Right yeah. now, it's uh, uh, once you have your special going, it's right down circle nine hundred, <laughs> and then you just re- oh, repeat that. and get like a ton of points and 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 smash it out of the park. Uh, combos and stuff. The one we're on right now is the city one where the cars are going around and uh, they can hit you. The taxis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's tough. Everything's spread out, so it's it's pretty tough. You got a manual stuff, you know. Well, oh, yeah, manual. I I try to. It, it, it I you know you get so close where you like grind something up here, you manual, and then grind to something else, and it's yeah. cool. But it's not always how it works, man. Oh, I know. I agree. No, I remember. Um, while we're on that game and topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what comes out end of next month? What's that? World of Warcraft Shadowlands. (laughs) (laughs) Man, I am so excited for that. Yeah, I know. I I heard you earlier, and you're like, you know know what people don't talk enough about? World of Warcraft. Uh, Yes, I agree. And I agree with you. Well, no, yeah, you said it, so you you would agree. That makes sense. Yes. Makes a lot of sense, Corey. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. I, I, I'm allowed to say I agree with myself. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can state facts yeah. and not and say I don't I agree say with it, them. You I know? did say it made a lot of sense. Uh but yeah, October 27th, Shadowlands releases, bro. So what? What brings? What comes with Shadowlands? Uh you what won't see me. You won't hear uh, well, from that, me. That, well. On on Mondays and Thursdays. Oh yeah, all right, all right. I guess no, I'll make time. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So with this is like a new expansion. So it's got a whole new lands, um, whole new content to uh, dive into. Uh, okay. With new patches, they also like introduce class changes, uh, whether it be new spells or taking away spells or modifying spells. Um, this expansion. Is probably like the most like cosmetic wise, uh, a jam packed full of cosmetics for almost every race. Um, so different uh, skin tones, uh, colors, hair, piercings, tattoos, like all sorts of different gotcha. things for different characters. So it's really cool because now it's going to be like a bit more inclusive and a bit more uh, modifiable. A terrible word, but. Like, you can modify your character and fine-tune more of how you want to look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, it's it's really cool. And then, another, one thing that I'm really curious about is right now, uh, Battle for Azeroth took us to level 120. And Shadowlands is introducing a level squish where we're going to go down to 50 and we'll be leveling up to level 60. 
Wow. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. So it's 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 going to be interesting. I'm excited for it because at a certain point, levels are kind of meaningless. I mean, what, are we going to go to 120 to 130? Like, oh, what's next? 130 to 140? You know, who cares? That's true. No. I mean, whether it's 50 to 60 or 60 to 70, it doesn't matter. Like, it's whatever it's makes sense in the, the expansion. Budget. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm for it. I think it makes sense. And then we don't have to have, like, insane numbers, but. <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to bring it up because I thought it was pretty cool. It's good. It is. Yeah, it's good to note that uh, if anybody hadn't heard, I'm sure everybody, you know, I'm, they're dying to know. Yes, and you just filled them in. Yeah. And they they yeah. already did know because they're diehards, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I didn't know. I mean, I did know because I said how excited I was about it. I forgot. Duh. <laughs> I forgot. Duh. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's all I got for World of Warcraft. That's Just it? saying. It. Are you sure? Well, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, right. you know, once you know, right. you know. Once you know, now you know. It's pretty cool. So, like, <clears throat> if you wanted me to go no more, I could. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's really cool. Right. It's a really cool storyline. I'm reading the book. That's right. You heard. You heard right. I'm okay. reading. The book. That's kind of mind blowing. It's taken me a while because, like, you got to fit in book time. And when you're not used yeah, to not yeah. reading books, it's like I could be uh, on my phone researching or, or on Twitter and, and I could be podcasting. I could be watching movies. I could be watching TV. There's a lot of things you could be doing. There's people out there that are like, I'm going to read a book. And I'm like, that's mind blowing. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I would like to try it. So. That's impressive. So speaking of reading books, though, are you um, reading a book? So another, no, oh. no, no, not me personally. But, <laughs> not me. But over, yeah, over the weekend, yeah, um, uh, I was talking to somebody, and they said that they were reading books, and I think that she said that she got into the seventies of how many books she read so far this year. Wow, isn't that? And that's impressive. That's that's impressive. That is, I mean, that is a a a true like. That is awesome. That's commendable. Yeah, like, it, wow. It is. And then think about it. it think of that person's right vocabulary. Oh, it's, it's insane. Wow, that it's is crazy. cool. Yes. Give so, that person a cool. clap. You know, that's yes. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. So that's impressive. At, so that's just one thing. And I know that, you know, the, the quarantine and the stay at home thing really probably helped them out with it. Oh, but yeah. But it still doesn't yeah. change the fact that they didn't, that they still just did it. They did that. It doesn't matter about whatever the circumstances are, whatever it is. Yeah. They still did that. You right, know? right. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's impressive. Like, there's yeah. people that are like, oh, I have a book goal. And they, like, smash out, like, two, three books in a week. And I'm like, Maybe I just don't read that fast. My goodness. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's impressive. And I think they just do it like they find whatever time. It's just like them. So if you, I think people that read books, like that really enjoy books, read them like that, mm -hmm. their books are like your movies. Oh, for sure. Exactly. Absolutely. So they can't yeah. stop thinking about it. So yeah. like when they're reading that book, like when they go, they're going to go take a bath, mm -hmm. right? Instead, well, instead of taking a shower, they'll take a bath because in the bath uh, they can, can read. Uh, or I'll just 20 minutes long. get a waterproof tablet. But no. I'll start taking baths. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, Jessica, uh, draw me a bath. <laughs> it's time for me to read my book. Yes, <laughs> I shall be undisturbed. <laughs> bath bomb, please. My... Yeah. Candles. Yeah. That's, Epsom that's awesome. salt. Yes. I <laughs> now don't get me wrong. I have read books in my lifetime. I do actually enjoy yeah, well. reading books. Now I'll tell you what though, something happened in my life that uh, uh, books put me to sleep. So like I can only handle oh. so many pages. Um, anyway, so I will read Clementine books before bed. Halfway through these short children's books, I'm yawning. I mean like. <laughs> I've had like six cups of coffee, <laughs> and then I read one of those books, and I'm like, nap, nap That's time. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> so when I'm laying in bed, and I'm reading a book, I'm like, before I know to close the book, I have reread the same sentence three or four times, and I'm like, nah, brain's shutting down. This isn't working. <laughs> Throw the towel in. It's like, it's only a 250-page book. Well, 
10 pages a night and I'm only doing yep. it every couple of nights, you know. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> yeah, it really shouldn't, but man, it's a really good book so far. But yeah. Okay. All right. Uh so I am excited to finish it. I am about halfway through. So before October 27th, I would like to finish it and uh have a little know-how of what's going on before the expansion comes out. Yeah, okay. I don't like playing the public test realm. There's people that do uh, the public test realm, basically. And, and it's a good thing that people do because um, it's it's uh, content that's going to be coming out, but it hasn't hit. Um, it's, it's for testing. And yeah. basically, people can find bugs and find issues and all that stuff. So it's, oh. it's a good thing for sure. Yeah. I just personally enjoy having content for the first time like okay and the full extent of everything yeah there's people yeah. that it's it's a rush to be the first one to hit max level on the server you know what i mean yeah. so there's people that are gonna know all the routes all the quests that are gonna get them to level 60 within like two Eat, three hours quick. you know what i mean it's like to me yeah. i don't know I, I don't really necessarily care how long it takes me because as long as i'm enjoying it i'm I have ADD, obviously, and uh, I'll do a quest, and then something else pops up, and I'm over here, and then something else pops up, or I'm over here. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always a little slower than Russ because I'm always like, oh, there's an herb over here. Did you guys see that <laughs> herb over here? Let's go pick that herb. <laughs> and then you gotta go get. Then you gotta go turn the herbs in and turn them into other things. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, absolutely. So it's like. That that was one th really. Did you watch The Witcher all the way through? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So that was one thing I really enjoyed because there's a there is a scene where he hops off his horse and he kneels down and picks up an herb, and I'm like, this is th that is so legendary right there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like it's funny. Yeah, that is what yeah. you do. You know. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even think about that. Exactly. But you're so right. Yeah. I mean, it's just something that cause, because I don't play. You know, I I don't I don't hate WoW by any means. I I just don't I don't the system play it, and I just feel like I don't want to have the time. Yeah, you don't have a PC to effort. play it. You don't yeah, have the time so. to invest. That's those are all reasonable uh, excuses. Uh, I think yeah. everyone <laughs> in the world yeah. should play it, but that's just me. No, yeah. but then your servers would be all filled up, man. Then you'd be all in trouble. You know, that's great. That's great. Build servers, more alliance to kill. Yeah, I'm for the horde. Don't even test me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways so yeah october 27th i gotta finish this book shadowlands sylvanas ripped open the helm of domination and opened up the portal to the afterlife dun 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 are you kidding me i'm really excited because I, this expansion that we're currently on right now i have done more end game content in in this expansion than any other uh, um expansion i i why uh, i've just I, i've just really enjoyed it uh like the okay. pro, uh, progression and i think it's just like instead of I, I i kind of almost every time i log in i have like a goal of what i want to do and yeah. i think i just kept going with that progression which eventually gave me like all these routes to finish uh you know content and everything so it, it was a lot of fun i mean there's so many things to do that you could just get distracted yeah okay, yeah. Right. but I really enjoyed like the raids, the uh, the mythic plus dungeons, and since you have no idea what's going on, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just agreeing. Yeah, Let like, you go. Mm, you know, great. You know, World of uh, Warcraft. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Shadowlands. I think it's their eighth expansion, man. That's impressive. Though. I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's still great. That I mean, it, it is still a you know me being a gamer in general. Still, is, it's still it's a proud moment for games that you, that you're. This oh far yeah, man. I mean, the game that came out, the you know, base yeah, game sure. came out in two thousand four. You know. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. I've been you know, playing I mean, it's, since. That's a, a game. End of 04, beginning of 05, I, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Wow. Yeah. So. You've got a <laughs> you've got a lifer here. <laughs> 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 not even kidding you. I, I i've tried quitting that game and i, I just can't I just, I just can't i love the bounce the achievements 
the fights. Mm, no. Anyway, stop it, Corey. Stop mm, asking okay. me questions yeah. about I it. I didn't ask you questions. You're just answering questions. <laughs> You're answering your own questions in your head, I think. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, you introduced something else. Get me off this topic. Yeah, that's that, yeah, the yeah, Warcraft sure. right, movie so. was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really did enjoy the Warcraft movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll right. take hate all for right, it. I don't so. care. No, that's fine. So, talking about movies, though. You ready? Yeah. P.S. I never saw that movie. But, anyways. Um, a movie that I've watched, you know, this uh, past couple of days that I was, oh. you know. And I I have to say that... Um, I'm just going to say what it is and get your opinion on it first. So, The Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which one did uh, you watch? <laughs> It was the one with, uh, there was a game on it. Oh, Days of Future Past. That's X-Men. X-Men, Days of Future Past. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Fantastic, it's, it's a Fantastic Four. Sorry. I just read, that's funny, because I, I did read the top of that, and it says that. Uh, it's the one with, um... Miles Teller? Uh, no, uh, um, Andrew, or, er, er, Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, th- yes, Michael B. Jordan, that one, yeah. Okay, so... All right, go ahead. Yeah, tell me, okay. tell me your thoughts before it. Yeah. So personally, <laughs> I mean, aren't they supposed to be some sort of like heroes, right? Yeah. In a, in a sense, okay. They are the Fantastic so, Four. Yeah. Thank you. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. So my personal opinion on this right now, yeah, you learn about all these guys' superhero powers and how they got them and how it sucks and do this and do that. Man. But but truly. What did you see them do? They did one Fantastic Four move the entire time at the very end. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, there was no other like fighting. There was no other. Yeah. There was not even a big fight scene. There was. I'm like, wait a minute. Like I was actually, you know, because I like uh, like Michael B. Jordan. I like, you know, he's he's a good actor. Oh, absolutely. So like when I when I seen him, I'm like, oh sweet, you know, mm-hmm. I'm excited. That's what made me want to watch this one, right? Yeah. So I'm like, sweet, I got it. You know, I me, mean, I turn it on, and I'm sitting there. And I'm like, wait and wait and wait. And I'm like, man, it seems like I've like waited a long time for some like good, true action. <laughs> yeah. And I press pause. And there was like 15 minutes left. I'm like, wait, what? Like, are you kidding yeah. me? This is this is upsetting. I feel like I almost wasted this amount of time. I wanted to watch some sort of action movie. And I've never seen this one. So I'm like, oh, it's not an action movie, but like a superhero action. Well, you know what yeah, I mean? but like, it, it's an origin story, too. So there's, there's the introduction of powers. And then yes. there's the demonstration of powers. And then there's almost like the demonstration of like... These are my powers unwielded, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. I get you. Yeah. There's I was very disappointed. All right, yeah. So sorry. No, that don't be sorry. I mean <laughs> uh, the the yeah. director was uh really vocal uh about how the studio basically screwed him over. Uh cut budget, they cut the time. Uh, basically oh, really? told him about rewrites. I, I'm not sure exactly the validity of all well, of that, he, but yeah, he was yeah, like yeah, yeah. super loud about it, about uh, uh, the creative control between the studios and that movie and everything. And yeah, I mean, you could tell like that movie was rough. Yeah, it was, it was not. It was bad. It was not good. It really was not. Like I, I just feel like the entire thing, even the way that. How can I explain it? Like, okay, so then the stretchy guy, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Mr. Fantastic. Name right now, okay? Yeah, okay, so when he stretches out, I'll try to think of the name in the, in the, in the, um, in the his, movie. I don't remember his name, but he, it's Miles yeah. Teller. Okay. Which I so, love Miles Teller. You ever seen Whiplash? Well, yeah. Yes, for sure. Or, so, yeah, he, I like him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. But when when he, they do the stretch at the very end, where they took all his his gear broke off and he started stretching out. Remember yeah. his gears away that made the control and everything. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he stands back up. So instead of him like like in, instead of they have these suits that train them how to do stuff, right? Uh-huh. So you're telling me in a matter of five minutes these guys have trained their brains to do everything <laughs> without the suits too. It's like so it's like it's like one of those things. I'm like okay, well you know what I mean. You guys went from this jelly. Or then you have Michael B. Jordan being burnt to a crisp, stands up, and then just lights himself back on fire again, which I understand that's his premise. Okay? That's a human torch, but, right, right, right. So, but at the same time, it's it's just kind of like the whole thing. I'm like, he's just like, hey, just, uh, all right. So, do you know who uh, played the human torch before him? Um, 
No, I can't. I can't oh, I... Captain America, Chris Evans. Oh, really? In uh, the first two Fantastic Four movies. So the yeah. first two Fantastic Four movies, awful. I've actually never watched the first one all the way through, and I refuse to watch the second one because the trailers were <laughs> awful. And if it's anything yeah. like the first one, no thank you. I don't want to spend my time on that garbage. But anyways... Terrible movies, but I, I've I'm a, I'm a, I've always been a fan of Chris <clears throat> Evans, and uh, there, there's that meme like how you remember Chris Evans, and it's him as Captain America, and it's like how I remember Chris Evans, and it's him <laughs> from not another teen movie with the whipped cream around his crotch, you know, like yeah, <laughs> that's, that's so my funny. Chris Evans, you know, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, no, that's but awesome. yeah, like he he played the Human Torch, and but anyways, I my, I I really thought it was like you totally misused. Pure talent on that screen. Uh, um, um, uh, drawing a blank on, on the female's name. Uh, yeah, Mira, she, Kate, yeah. Kate uh, Mira or something like that. Yeah, uh, Kate Mara. Is... I think it's Kate, Kate Mara. Mara. Yeah. Yep. And she's been in a lot of great stuff. She's a, she's a great actress. She was on um, uh, House of Cards. But wow. Totally misused there. Michael B. Jordan is like... If he's not an Academy Award winner already, he should be soon. And you misused him. Miles Teller, same thing. Like he, same, he, people yeah. that have like really good careers. The, the one of the things that I remember about the movie that really made me mad was Mr. Fantastic, Miles Teller, whatever. Him bringing in his friend to well, come help no. because no. yeah, you'd want some dude who's like basically untrained and like. Apparently mentally unstable, you know. Like, <laughs> well, yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, high school friend. They've done it since the very beginning, but at the same time, you know, why? Why wasn't he offered something. the same stuff? Like, if he was as a- intelligent exactly. as you, why was he not yes. offered the same stuff? And then He's you're just not. like, I'm looking for a person, anybody, please, anybody. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, hold yeah, on, I got a guy. Yeah. He can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the premise was bad. Uh, no, it was it was it was just not. I was very disappointed. I I I had heard it was one of those movies where like I had heard how bad it was, so I waited. To, I think I watched it for free and something, and uh-huh. I was like, I'm gonna go into this th- knowing this is gonna be bad, but hey, whatever, you know. It, yeah. I I love these actors, so like, how bad yeah, could so it be? Yeah, yeah. And then I got to the end, and I'm like, all right, no, that's bad. It was bad. It was bad. At least, I mean, at least it's not like career ending bad for these people because well, they've sure, still gone yeah, on and done yeah. great things. But I would, oh yeah, just bad. And now it's it's an interesting thing because those were Fox movies, I do believe, and now they're owned by Disney, so. With Marvel and Disney in control of those characters again, they could totally do some cool things. Yes, absolutely, and and I think they should. I mean, I, I, I hope so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think they totally need justice. Like those characters need yeah. some justice, and there's a mm-hmm. lot. I mean, the Silver Surfer is really cool, and they made him really stupid. And yeah, so it sucks to waste your time, but at least you understand what other people went through when they watched it. You know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's but like it now you have a spiritual connection to anybody else who's watched that. Yes, yes. So I'm going to start a vlog, and we're going to talk about it. That's going to be like, that, like you start getting an argument with somebody. Like, all right, did you ever watch Fantastic Four? The new one? Yeah. Did you hate it? Yeah. All right. I think we can. I think we could be we can friends. Agree on something. We're yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're on another yeah. level. <laughs> Yeah, fist bump. Yeah, right, you don't yeah. shake hands because it's during COVID time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elbows now, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah. and then wipe that elbow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You don't know where the elbow's been. That's funny. I, uh, Jessica and I watched the first three episodes of The Boys. Oh, I got two. I got two. In. You got two in? Oh, dude. I I don't want to do any spoilers or anything like that. I mean, I know one of the things. Well, that's in the third episode, so you haven't seen it. But, uh... I there this I think this season's gonna be pretty spicy, uh, uh, coming up here, man. Uh, after you think so? seeing what happens in episode three, I'm like, 
I'm back to having my jaw to the floor. Like, what? What? Really? Yeah, just because, like, some of the things that happen, you're just like, oh, okay. Like, we're going there. Like, oh, yikes, you know? Um, we can we can talk about it later. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, try, I try to fit it in, but oh, I, I know. fell asleep. You know, that was the thing I tried. So, but. Jessica and I did the same thing. We watched uh, two episodes. Uh, I, I forget what it was. Maybe it was Friday night. And okay. it was just like, I, I'm too tired to do the third. And I want to be awake for this. Like, it's, it's such yeah, a yeah, fun yeah. and good show that I want to be awake. So, sure. we waited and then and then we watched it the next day when uh, Clementine took a nap. But uh, that feeling I got when, as, like, we pressed play and they did, like, the previously on. Oh, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. oh man, I'm jazzed. Like I'm like giddy, you know. A hundred percent. And it's funny. To start. Yes, because and I didn't actually at the very beginning. I'm not gonna lie. I some of the things that they talked about and something that they showed, I forgot about. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah. There's yeah, a lot he did that do happened. That. Yes, a hundred percent. Like yeah. you know, there's there's been plenty of things and and I will say. I mean, there is one character. I'm, I don't want to bring anything. I don't want to ruin anything. But there is one certain character that truly is showing. I mean, we know how effed up he's been this entire time. But there's that one character, huh? I was just, I was just like I was give like a, a breath of like, whew, if you're talking about Homelander, my goodness. A, a yes, whew, yes. Homelander. <laughs> yes. He's one of my favorites because. My God, like you, you cannot like it when he's sincere. It's not. Oh, and no. it's he's just a really good actor, man. Like it's, it's, it's insane. It's actually impressive. Yeah. And you know, I, and one spoil alert. I'm not. It's not really a spoil alert, but the way this man loves his milk is like <laughs> very, very <laughs> weird. So, because oh first, my like, God, when he, he takes it, so I'm like, what is he doing with this? Oh thing? my God, he takes it. And then he sticks his tongue in there, and he, like, licks some of it up. I'm like, what is going on with this guy, dude? It's such a weird. Oh, so my funny. God, yeah. It's, uh, and I was like, just, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot you, yeah. you, you're a weirdo. I mean, yeah, for sure. Now I remember. You're a psycho. <laughs> but you're also a weirdo. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, I when, when he goes to the office and goes to the freezer, yeah. and I'm like, oh, oh my, my God. God. This guy. Weirdo. This guy, no. he's this on another level. Guy. Homelander. No, no. Now, people, I, I've seen uh, people putting like uh, those those fan made posters and whatnot. People making one for uh, his name's Anthony Starr, uh, okay. the, the guy who plays Homelander, and he's from uh, New Zealand, I believe. And people okay. have uh, making fan made posters about him being Wolverine, like the next Wolverine. And I'm thinking oh, like really? that he's still too tall, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Wolverine is definitely short. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a short, stocky no. dude. Hugh Jackman's even still too tall for him. But Jackman <laughs> did like that was an awesome Wolverine. I I I wish Jackman would just always play Wolverine. But anyways, no, no. Uh, Jessica brought up a good point. She said, "You know who would be really good at it? The, who? the already rough and gruff Billy Butcher, man." That's true. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you see, he, yeah, he's tall, though. Yeah, but he's, like, a different, like, you know, like, you know, he's just, like, he's got, like, the gruff look, you know? Yeah, well, for sure, he yeah. looks just like him. I mean, Yeah, I, I was going to say, you just do his hair up, and it's like, put a, yeah. put a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> didn't he have one? Didn't he, didn't he, didn't he, didn't he I mean, there might, yeah, there might actually, yeah. yeah Get that yeah, man a yeah. yellow jumpsuit. Belly Butcher, yeah, be done with it. step on yep. down. Yeah. Yep, here it is. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. yeah. <laughs> we are now the the casting uh, for for shows. All right. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it. That's funny. Um, uh, speaking of Wolverine too, just to throw this in there for for I to say. It. So Fortnite is coming out the Wolverine too. Yeah, just like so the know. yellow jumpsuit. Yep. <sighs> Man. So it's like the, I'll send you a photo. I was gonna say, yeah, that out, is but. the only reason why I would play yeah. that. But the only thing is, I mean, the only thing it, it, you don't get is abilities, though. No, you know I know, I mean? but I you think, just get to run around. You get to run around. Suit. Suit. Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. 
So, you know, because I run around there, I run around with everybody else. This, this is the only guy I still don't have, which I'm really upset about. Spider Man. My, my little Spider Man, you know? I'm trying to have him hang out with me while I play games and stuff to see if he can bring me some good luck. Oh, okay. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. I have Pennywise uh, always staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that actually puts fear into you, which is a great thing. Do good, do good. I have to do great. He'll yeah. eat my soul. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> does it? Does he have the red balloon? <sighs> no, not yet. I'm <laughs> still working on that. I gotta put. The, I gotta put the pressure on. It's, it's yeah, been funny. too long. He's. It has been. He's looking. That's why. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, back. Wait. I broke so, it. Quit looking at him. Quit looking at him. Whew. It's because like I'm old now, so like he he's like I usually go out to kids, and I'm like, well, I'm not a kid, so but he still tries yeah. to get me every once in a while. Yeah, I know. Like he got those other kids, those other Ew. adults. Chapter two, <laughs> which I gotta say, if we're gonna just talk about that just for one minute. I really enjoyed it, Chapter One. I yeah. thought it oh, was yeah. really well done. Yep, and I thought it was creepy, and I I loved Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. It was astounding. It was creepy. It was awesome. I I really really enjoyed it. It made me. I was like, man, like people were scared of Pennywise with uh, uh, the original Stephen King one with Tim Curry, right? Oh, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. so cartoony. I I was never scared of clowns, and I was never scared of that one. And then I come out, and then when they come out with this one, I'm like, now kids watching this one, yeah, I I would be like, don't ever take me to the circus. Yes, don't I'm ever give clowns. me a red balloon. Yeah. I'd be mm-hmm. frightened. But the second chapter, the it chapter two was just was it was not no, I. I was glad I bought it on sale, but sad that I didn't see it for free. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. Like, it's it's funny too because uh, there was a comment there like, "Why can't remakes be like the first half?" And then, <laughs> then they're like, "What do you?" Th-? And it was funny because they're, they're like, "What are you talking about?" They're like, "It Chapter Two was terrible. Yeah, yeah. It Chapter One was so good." Yeah. You know, it was just funny. They're, you know, that was just their. I mean, it's everybody's everybody over exaggerates. Oh yeah, you know what I mean right, on the internet, right. but but still, it's fun. I mean, like, but you are right though. I've actually seen them both. My, I I did see them both. So. Yeah, ch- ch- Chapter Two is just a letdown, and I thought there was such a lack of what they ca- could have capitalized on this one uh, 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 from the first one. I mm. think that they didn't use Bill Skarsgård enough. That dude was freaking phenomenal and uh i did hear a rumor though that that there might be like a a prequel uh because in the jessica read the book so she she uh she explained a lot to me about like the beginning of oh the creature okay. it and and everything because pennywise is just a form he takes you know he, he takes many forms of obviously if you've seen yeah. the films but um yeah. his his He's very ancient, uh, older than the Earth itself, or something like that. Oh wow! Yeah, he's like, okay, he was basically created through like the Big Bang or something. It's crazy. It goes into like a, a whole thing. So it'd be really interesting if they did a like a prequel because I wouldn't mind him like yeah. wreaking havoc. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, like seeing it, seeing him at his his prime, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to see him at a carnival dressed up as Pennywise doing his little dance, man. That dance, I was like, that, that's just, I love it. It's so good. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you just have to get, like YouTube Pennywise uh, clown dance, I guess. Yeah, because I can't put a clip up right now. But anyways, I just want to bring that up. Uh, that the it, it chapter two was just just not good, not good, man. <laughs> like, and then and then to use like good talent. Now, first thing is first, I will never forgive them for using. I would say Jessica Chastain is one hell of an actress or actor because there really is no difference. Everybody's an actor, right? So yep, I I think Jessica Chastain is is an, a really great actor, but. They should have used Amy Adams. That girl, the young girl uh, in It Chapter One, uh, Beverly, mm-hmm. looks exactly like Amy Adams. It would have been 
just like perfect casting. And I've never seen anything about like casting issues or, or scheduling issues or anything like that. I just heard that it was that you know, they were getting Jessica Chastain, and it's just so the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, it should have been Amy Adams. It should have been Amy yeah. Adams. It should have yeah. been Amy Adams. You know, I thought uh, Bill Hader did a really good yeah. job. James McAvoy did a really good job. Uh, but again, it was like failure of, of, of a plot failure, uh, which is funny because it's given to you. Um, yeah, but easily. it's just a failure. Yeah, it was literally yeah, it's no. literally handed to you in a book. You, yep. know, you can read it. Mm-hmm. If you need new ideas, y- yep. read Here the you book. Go. <laughs> um, but what a letdown. So anyways, Wolverine, Spider-Man. Pennywise. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's funny how they wanted that train. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, they're like, man, um, how the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. Because Pennywise is always looking at me. He's staring yeah. at you. So he, yes. He just did that, I need to, actually. Stop. No. <laughs> I need to get uh, uh, a Pennywise Funko Pop. I don't, I don't, no, I don't know why no. I don't have one of those. I don't, I don't have any horror ones. I was like, man, that, that would be a good... Yeah, that's a really good one. I mean, there's a couple. There's really. There could be really good ones. I mean, yeah, Halloween. Yeah, you Jason. You get Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's so many, you know. That's true. That's the problem because once you get one, you have to get them all. Once you get one, you gotta get them all. That's the Pokemon song. <laughs> once, <laughs> once you get one, you gotta get them all. That's the American <laughs> version. The kids are like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Once you get no. one, you gotta get them all. That's the country version, right there. You gotta, you got straw out the mouth. Yeah, gotta put a little twine. Yeah. Once you get one, you gotta get gotta them all. Gotta get them all. I'm a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now I did want to bring up. I thought it would be kind of a fun thing. Uh, uh, to give a movie suggestion. Yes. Uh, okay. So this will be my Thursday movie suggestion. Maybe you can throw it on the weekend list. Uh, you know, maybe you can fit it in uh, Thursday night, Friday. Who knows? But uh, the movie that I am recommending for all our listeners, for all our watchers, is the movie Hugo. By Martin Scorsese. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever watched the movie Hugo? I, I have not actually. I, I think I've seen it before, but I've not. I've actually have not heard. Uh, I've not seen the movie. But it is one that uh, my dad had recommended to me at the time, and Jessica and I watched it, and we were just like, I, I was utterly shocked. It did not win the Academy, uh, the Academy Award for Best Picture. It is an wow. ode to movies, uh, and. and how movies started and and just like the special effects of movies and it's any movie lover is would love this movie it's so cool they take a uh, film that's black and white and to turn it color they are actually coloring in every frame every single frame and that's how you used to get color right I mean, wow. incredibly well done. The characters were awesome. The story's awesome. I'm going to read the synopsis for you, all right? Okay. All right. I'm ready. Orphaned and alone, except for an uncle, Hugo Cabaret lives in the walls of a train station in 1930s Paris. Hugo's job is to oil and maintain the station's clocks, but to him, his more important task is to protect a broken automation and notebook left to him by his late father, Jude Law. <laughs> Accompanied by the goddaughter, Chloe Grace Moretz, of an embittered toy merchant, Ben Kingsley, (laughs) Hugo embarks on a quest to solve the mystery of the automation and find a place he can call home. Now, the puzzle that they're talking about is this really cool, like, boy-sized puzzle made all of this metal contraption, and it's really, really cool. Um... But boy, if you love movies, this is it's it's like a, a love story to movies, man. It's so cool. Okay, all right, all right. I, I def, I'm I'm gonna watch it. 
I'm shocked that I have not, I have not, or you have not told me about this before. I'm actually kind of blown away. It's a, it's a sleeper movie. I often forget that it's, it was made by uh, okay. Martin Scorsese. I mean, it's, it's a different movie. You know, like when you watch it, yeah. I mean, Sasha Baron Cohen is in it, yeah. and he's phenomenal. Uh, it's a really well done movie, and it's a really great story. And I, I, I don't know why. Like, I, it's occasionally. It'll pop up in my brain, and I'm like, "Oh man, I need to rewatch that," because it's, okay. it's just like thinking about some of the things that you see in that movie. It's just like, "Wow," yeah. to see how far we've come in the movie making business, and and practical effects or special effects and all that kind of stuff. So, Hugo, directed by Martin Scorsese, is uh, that okay. Is, that right. is my suggestion. All right, so I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be watching. So, speaking of effects, did you know yeah. that Tenet uses less <laughs> CGI than a rom com than than most rom coms? Really? How you like them apples? I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. You seen it yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. Uh-uh. I understand. Sorry. Got to got to get out to the theater. I would like to see it on the IMAX. That's what I want. The next time I go see it in theaters, I'm going to see it at the IMAX. Where's that at? I, I'm about to, well, I mean, it's close, right? There's one at the Science Center, but I don't think they do movies on that. I know they have, like, national, mm. like, geographic movies or scientific movies on there, but they, I, I don't think I've ever seen them actually do movies. There's a, there's one in Columbus, okay. uh, but I, I'm not sure of anywhere else that's close. I'll have to okay. figure that out. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I mean, okay. that's like his shot, like his big movie shots are done with like IMAX cameras and you know, an IMAX screen, man. So yeah. I would love to, to view that beauty up there. You know, I say that would be awesome. Actually, that would be sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, real cool. Cause, uh, a little cool fact about Christopher Nolan is he does not film on digital. He only uses film. And so it's practical effects over CGI. He doesn't like using green screens and all that stuff. So That's crazy. Yeah. And he's put out some impressive movies. Oh, yeah, man. Like, if you think about that fight in Inception with Joseph, Go- Joseph Gordon-Levitt, where he's uh, running through the halls upside down and on the side of the walls oh, through the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Every time I watch it, I'm like, no, oh, he's gathering the bodies, wrapping them all up, and then like putting them up. It it is so impressive and mind blowing to me. It's it's like magic, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> movie magic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a real thing. It's right? a real thing. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm watching David Copperfield. It's like I don't I don't understand how you did it. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel like if I ever were to want to become a director, why bother? <laughs> you yeah. know, because this dude That's knows true. it all, so like, he'll beat you. He'll just beat me. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, it's 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 really cool that. Uh, so there's a uh, documentary that uh, I forget who teamed up, but it's uh, it features Keanu Reeves, and okay. Keanu Reeves goes to all these like cinematographers and directors and interviews them, and I think it was for Sundance, but. It was interesting to see which directors adopted digital and that's all they shoot or there's directors like Christopher Nolan that only shoot film. And so when you're shooting film, I mean, you're shooting miles and miles of film. People have to go through all of that film and then eventually transfer it on. So it's like a total different process, but it's a total different picture quality too. Yeah. With lighting and all that stuff. So, I mean, there's... I'm sure advantages to both sides. I know something like if we were to to make a movie, we would have to do it digital because we don't have the time or or uh, who knows what it costs to develop a movie's worth of film. You know what I mean? I mean that's that's gotta be part. Of, yeah, that's that's a big part of the yeah, budget. You know, probably a big <laughs> part of the budget. You know. Yeah. Oh hey, we accidentally ruined that. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well yeah. reshoots that's are a true. little expensive, but all right. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a thing that that's a nice part about digital. Yeah, 
You just reshoot, <laughs> reshoot, keep going. Just reshoot, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, you want to try new going. lines? Keep no. going. Nope. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Like, there's there's some directors out there that, that I, I hear Clint Eastwood does this a lot where an actor, uh, you know, they'll they'll film the scene, they'll call action, they'll yep. do the scene, and he's ready to move on. Where the actors are like, uh, are you sure? Like, we could do another take where I'm doing it this <laughs> yeah. way. And he's like, nope, let's move on. And and then you almost feel like, is this my best? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> but it's 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 interesting. Just everybody else's uh, style. Um, but yeah, so make sure to watch Hugo. 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 I like it. All right. You yeah, know, you, I'm in. people think of Martin Scorsese as like, oh, that's the guy who does the mobster movies, and you're like, yeah, but he does Shutter Island. You've seen that one, right? Yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. I mean that movie is still phenomenal, like like so phenomenally done that you can still like watch it and be like, wait. <laughs> so does he know or does he not know? Because last time I thought he <laughs> knew, this time I kind of feel like he doesn't. I don't. Know. But he no no. But it's what you get when you get Leonardo DiCaprio. That's true. That is very 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 true. You don't you just don't know. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. you don't know. Uh, but but. The, the only other thing that I have is if I could offer a TV recommendation, it would be Succession on HBO. Okay. Yeah, you've recommended that one to me before, and I, I still have not watched it. But uh, It's such uh, a it's a gripping show. It's awesome. And the, okay. the okay. actors are phenomenal. They're so good. Well, yeah, so let's say... I remember I looked it up, so I mean yeah. I remember seeing it. I remember doing all that, but I've not actually like I just not have not done that. Yet. I actually thought it was funny that uh, in the show, um, God, I can't remember her name now. Well, anyways, uh, we we're watching that show, and Sean, uh, uh, he had recommended a movie to me, and it was mm. Predestination. Well, she's in it, and I was like, Whoa. oh, gotcha. But anyways. Um, Shout yeah, out. so Hugo and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hugo and um, Succession. Okay, all right. So you know, you know, every time you say Hugo, you know, you know what I think of, right? Every single time, Hurley. You know, yes, every time. I cannot like you said it the first time. I'm like, ah, that's funny, and then I just start listening. You're again, talking you know, like, about four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two, four. 15, 16, 23, 42. <laughs> what does that all add up to? 108. <laughs> I hope that those minutes. are questions one day, like I'm on a game show. Yes. I'm t- oh. And it's like, what are these numbers that up? 108. Don't even need to count. Yeah, yeah. I know it. <laughs> like, how do you know it? Because it's, that's how long Desmond had to bury the guy he killed. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's uh. so funny. I only had 108 minutes to bury the poor bastard, I believe is what he says. I think those are the exact words. (laughs) Verbatim. (laughs) My dude, Desmond. Yep, that's true. That's true. So, yeah. So, uh, Um, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Uh, Are you watching anything this weekend? What do you... of, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I am a uh, yeah, I'm a sports guy. Okay, you know, so we have this weekend starts the NFL season this week. Ooh. So yeah, this Sunday coming up. I mean, go Browns. You know, Cleveland, <laughs> Ohio here. You know, go Brownies. Uh, you know, that's I'm super pumped about that. They they start out this week, uh, Sunday, and then Thursday of next week they'll have their home opener. Uh, we're playing Baltimore this Sunday. I'm super pumped about it. I really can't wait. You know, this is one of my favorite times of the year. I try to squeeze them in. Um, you know, especially now with no inside basketball or anything like that going on. Uh, I'm really going to be able to squeeze these in every single week. Because before I used to kind of record them and then go back and watch them or watch like, the first half before I put basketball. Because ba- they were just right in the middle of the day. So oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. So, like, now, though, so I'm, I'm pumped. Like, this this is going to be pretty sweet. So, uh, with football starting, now, are they having to do the same thing? Are they in a bubble? No, actually. So, that that's so as of right now, that's the weird part. And I mean, of course, everybody's restricted. You're not supposed to go do things. You're not supposed to go do that. Right, You're okay. To be, you know what I mean? But it's like, the same thing as, it's like the same thing as baseball right now to where – you're advised not to, but people still do. That's why a lot of the teams at the very beginning were actually coming down with COVID because um, they were just going out and 
partying. Like, you know, the, the people from um, the home team here, they went out and partied. <laughs> and when, when, when they did that, you know, I mean, what happened is, is he actually, the pitcher got traded. I mean, he they were not messing around. I mean, they, they, <laughs> they truly... Yeah, so it's kind Dang. of it's a big deal. Yeah, so they were they knew that something else was happening, and that so that's one thing that happened. Uh, so like with that, so this is gonna be the same thing as football. I mean, but the the, the craziest thing is though, is because it's once a week outside ninety percent. Well, not not ninety percent. Oh, time. okay. It used to be a lot more. So they're actually allowing fifteen thousand people in the stands, just socially distanced. Social distance, fifteen thousand people in the stands, which is awesome. I just think that's a huge start for what we're doing right now because. You know what I mean? Trying to work our way back into eventually once this whole thing goes away mm-hmm. to make people, I think, feel comfortable and things like that. So I think this is going to be a big one leading into oh, yeah. what's coming up in the winter is the NBA again. Oh, okay. So the NBA, they're not going to do this bubble again. I'm telling you right now. It's been too short. Well, yeah, I was going to say, if, it, complaining about if it. it works for other sporting events, then I, I could not imagine that anybody yeah. would do that again. No, so I'm telling you, so I really, truly think that. So I think this is going to be a good start for everything else. And and I just like it because, I, I mean, I don't mind. I don't care where they play. I just I enjoy the game. You know what I mean? I don't always go to all these events and stuff. It's a lot of money to go and expensive. I enjoy them a lot, so I'd love to go. But at the same time, it's just an expensive thing to go to. So, yeah. Um, you know, so that's why my only quote-unquote downfall for it. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, all, I, all I did, I looked over and his little head popped yeah, up. Like, so, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> so if, if you if you head over to YouTube and, and if you're or if you already watch it, then you saw Jackson just peek his little head around the corner on the top of the steps, like, oh, "Are you down there? Oh, you are. Okay, I'll come down there." Yeah, oh, my cute little puppy. Uh, that's that's so good. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's really fun. funny. Yeah. Okay, um, so that that's that's interesting, and yeah, it's a good <clears throat> point that. That I guess they are outside, so it's it's kind of different conditions, you know. I mean, for sure. And I mean, but still then, but touch, there's still, still stadiums, tackled, though. still. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, and then you know, and of course, everybody's gonna get tested. Or that's all. You know, they're constantly get tested. I think it's amazing how they can just get tested like two, three, four times a day. And yeah. I mean, not that I needed to, but I mean, where where, where are, like should everybody should just have a box of tests in the mail like every month, you know? That's true. Yep, just test yourself yeah, out. Yeah, just test yourself out. and Yeah, and that's it. I don't work for the CDC, so I don't know. Actually, Me neither. didn't they blow up the CDC in season two? <laughs> Walking Dead. Anyways, yeah, yes. sorry. <laughs> they did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, so that, that, I mean, that's my, you know, go Browns. Go Browns, yeah, my, absolutely. Yeah, go Browns yeah. and... Yeah, I, I I find it interesting. Like you know, we'll we'll definitely see how that all works with COVID and fans. A- and absolutely, oh uh, yeah. Because uh, I of course I agree. I think it's like a good entryway. Like let's let's test yeah. the limits here. Let's see. Like okay, if we if we do the appropriate cleaning and then we bring in the, the fans and we have seats independent of. of of bodies and everything and see if that, you know, helps and everything, because ultimately like sports drives a lot of money and a yeah. lot of that money is needed to keep those giant arenas clean, mm-hmm. functioning, repaired or inspected, like all that stuff. All, I mean, I, I could not imagine like if like, say we were to be shut down for an extended period of time and, and cities unable to like afford their teams or, or you know, you know, like say well, yeah, like yeah, yeah, leagues yeah. are destroyed and well, nobody's whatever, playing sure. in these giant yeah. stadiums, like nobody's being employed to take care of these stadiums. It's like, man, they they've just become these giant uh, landmarks of just you know what happened. <laughs> yeah, you you and you're one hundred percent correct about that. It's 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 actually a scary thing. Well, everything is. That's why this whole COVID thing is a scary thing in general. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it really you could, could do see damage in a lot things of things. Dry up, and you're like, wow. Oh, I yeah. mean, for. I mean, it would make sense, but it's just like yeah. I'm not. You're not ready. You're not ready for traditions to end and and things like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hopefully, it's not the new normal. Hopefully, there's a vaccine that pumps out and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think that we're going to, you know, I mean, it's going to take time. I mean, this is the first time we've ever truly ran into, I think, something this big, I would I'd like to say myself. Yeah, the, I, mean, I, I mean, there's been big things out there, I'd but say, I think this one has been kind of... 
Yeah, they said like a uh, hundred years ago for the Spanish flu, nineteen eighteen, exactly. I think, for the Spanish flu. So yeah, nobody so, I mean, it's just... that we know that's been living has ever done anything like this before. So I mean, correct. Information changes, things change all the time, but hopefully yeah. this is not the new normal. The only thing I would say that that should be the new normal is like when everybody wasn't driving into work and the pollution was like clearing in certain places and cruises yeah, yeah. weren't going and all that stuff and that's like i think like we still need to take that step back and like realize like wow maybe we are excessively using these resources maybe maybe we could back off a bit maybe we can just change things well, a bit, so but be- hey yeah so we don't have to go too far into it but you hear about amazon no, there's a there's a there, there's that one lot in Amazon that has uh, he's running his whole entire fleet. I think it's in California or Florida. I mean, it's a big city where they do a lot of Amazon mm-hmm. runs with all electric. Oh, vans, yeah. Which I thought well, I thought that that was huge. I, I saw that, really that big thing. and I was yeah. blown away. I I, I, yeah. I I saw like a commercial where they're like talking about the electric vehicles. and I'm like, that's that's what that's, we need. That's fantastic. Because sure. the I'm amount sure. of packages that they're delivering. Boom. Yep. Exactly. I, and we think about, I mean, they had fleets of them. I'm telling you, the one, the video that I saw was literally like a, like a, like a six football fields long. It looked like, man. and they said all of these are all electric cars. Man, that, like, that's, that's that's just the right thing to do. Soon. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. I just it just it's funny that you brought yeah. it up. So <laughs> I would yeah. love for my next vehicle to be an, a, like at least a hybrid. You know, at least yes, yes, at least something. But hey, who who knows? I agree. Oh. All right. Well, you got any uh, so. any closing comments? Any? No, no. I was making sure I hit everything I wanted to check. I had to bring up my 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 my, my cheat sheet real my quick. My cheat sheet. Um, yeah. Yeah. We, we fit. We fit everything. I had my complaints about my Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. You know. uh, so I had that. Uh, you know. And I mean, other than that, you know, we pretty much talked about everything that I figured we'd talk about and about it so all right so watch hugo go browns yep go browns and if you can fit it in succession on hbo <laughs> yeah all right uh we'll see hey don't forget hamilton watchman john oliver <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude thank you i was like really worried that my, my bingo she wasn't here <laughs> uh That's funny. if you have any uh stories to tell us any shout outs you want to give or or anything or want to suggest a TV show or, or, or movie for us to watch, email we'll us. Glad to. CK talk about nothing yeah. at gmail.com or tweet us at Corey Kevin one. What hashtag should we ha- use? Embrace the nothing. That's right. It's a beautiful Every time. Sign. And it is. We're going to get t-shirts. We're going to get t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Thanks everybody for listening. Thanks everybody right. for watching. Yep, thanks guys. Yep. Go Browns. <laughs>